We are back. Welcome, my friends. Drive Corp here again today with the Regera. Yes, it's finally been added. I know it was accessible beforehand, but I don't want to try it around a track of their choosing. I want to try it around a track of my choosing. One huge thing I have here today is additions to the wheel setup. We've got the chesty chest mount. As you can clearly see, you probably say he's, he's got that fucking gimp thing on again. Yes, he has. But he's got an Alcantara wheel. I believe this is the 599XX Ferrari wheel. It has Alcantara on it. Thank you, Thrustmaster, for sending me this. Absolutely amazing feeling wheel. And it actually is bigger than the rim of my leather one. So... I can easily switch them out. I'm, I'm going to play around with this one today and see what I think. I've tried it once before when I was playing um, a set of Corsa on PS4 for the first time. But anyway, I'm going to try it on the Regera today. Anyway, also a new addition is the new add-on for the Wheel Stand Pro. So it's basically an addition to make the shifter separate so you can change the height of it. I've put it kind of low under my desk. I haven't got much room. I need to sort that out. I'm going to probably get a, fu a full setup when I eventually can and just move everything out so I can I get more room, basically. But as it is now, it's pretty useful and it's lower now as it would be in a normal car. Anyway, let's stop chatting balls. We want to see the gameplay. Let's just jump into it. Is there a place better than Norway? Close. What? What? Oh my. Okay, I've seen the interior before, but what? It, it, this, this is not, this is not luxury. This is something. What is? You say the Bugatti Veyron, you pay a million for like the luxury, that sort of thing. What is this then? This is, this this is a house. This is like a man. This, this is the queen's house. I'm in the queen's house. The queen of S Sweden. All right. So, um, let's see. Now, one thing I just remembered is I, I spoke about setting up my new shifter and stuff. One well, my new shifter setup. Um, this, this has two gears. So, it's not very useful, but it's somewhat useful. So, I can put it into reverse and, uh, drive. So, that's... That's something. Anyway, let's get into it. So, full throttle. Here we go. Oh, she's going for it. Bloody Nora. Ooh. What? Okay, okay, okay. Slow down a little bit. We're coming to a corner. So, yeah, this thing is a fucking machine. I was looking at the stats before we actually started to drive this thing. Like, we know it's going to be fucking quick. Well, my friends, I was looking at it, comparing it to the Hennessy Venom. This has 1,500 horsepower. It's rear-wheel drive, and it just... Oh, my God. It it looks li literally somewhat, like, beats the Hennessy Venom stats. I'm not exactly sure if it does. I didn't look specifically, but it, it's definitely around there. But anyway, we're coming up to it. Let's put the foot down. Ch change the... Look at that back end! Some people were like, no, I don't like it. Mate, you're fucking- you're wrong. I don't care. Keep control, keep control, keep control. 200 miles an hour! Come on! Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm not shouting the come on from the Corsa advert. Fuck the Corsa adverts. Oh my god! It's just the machine! The force feedback feels non-existent. It feels like it's not there because of how freaking quick it is and how much it could- No! Come on, come on. We're still in control. We're still in control. I'm here trying to change down gears, but it's not going to work, Theo. You're in, you're in a fucking car that's... I don't know. I guess it's automatic, but it's not because you have to change to reverse. So... I don't I don't know how you... Shit! Shit, shit, shit! shit. <laughs> Look at it go! 60. Almost to the 100 already. Oh! The back end is happy. The back end is very happy. Who needs gears to drift? I don't need gears to drift. What are you, a nub? Do you not have a Regera? Regera? I don't... Tits. <laughs> Didn't touch the wall. I love this thing so much. This is fucking insane. I can't see. <laughs> I think driving it in hardcore for the start was probably a terrible idea, but I don't care. Welcome to the Black Panther Channel. <laughs> oh. oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's just swaying because of how light it is. It's... It, I say it's light, it's probably like quite heavy, but you get like, it just feels so light compared to the speed. It turns so well. Look at that! What car turns like that in drive? Oh shit! Shit, I broke it! I'm sorry, Queen, I broke your house. I want another, tr I want another go. I don't care. This thing is not a car. I, I can't explain what, I, I'd say it's a house, but it moves 
much faster than that owls. So you can't really use that. That's an insult in a way. But, like, the, the one thing I... I I don't know. I feel like a bit of a hypocrite, like, saying that this is amazing and the Bugatti Veyron is a piece of wank. But let's be fair, the Bugatti Veyron can't turn like this. This, this is like the opposite of the Bugatti Veyron, except it's not sl The opposite in the fact that it can turn. Not, nothing else, because it's, it feels quicker. It feels very much fucking quicker. Even though it's not all-wheel drive, it feels like it basically should be. I don't know. Those turbos! <laughs> I just realized it. That's fucking insane. Oh my god. Can you imagine if this thing actually had manual transmit, like you had to properly shift gears? Oh my god, you'd be dead. You'd be like shifting every two seconds, like, yes, 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 yes. You'd have like 50 gears. Like, mate, this is the Fast and Furious car. This is the Fast and Furious car. I like my girls with big booties. This girl has a very big booty! Oh my god, I didn't touch the wall. Look at that. Oh shit. Alright, then, fuck off. Dear Mr. Koenigsegg, if I ever email you asking you if I can drive your car in real life, I promise I won't drive it like this. That's a very big display. I promise I won't. Is there anybody that wants to let me test drive their cars? I won't drive it like this. Maybe a little bit. But not like this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Take the car to full speed! No, I can't do it! I can't do it! Shit! Did, did, did. This thing will slide! Look at it! Look at it! Who needs manual? Don't need to drop down gears. Just power on with this thing and you're fucking gone. It's like shifting down about 50 gears. It's got a little pop-up spice. See you, baby. The Swedish are insane! You're all mental! I don't- I don't understand! Oh, you can just go, you know what? We're gonna make a car! And it's in, it wants to kill you! This car wants to murder you! It doesn't! The, that's the thing- that's what I'm thinking! The Bugatti Veyron, it wants to kill you! This thing, it wants you to have fucking fun and not die! I'm- I, I'm- I'm speechless! That- that was- that was something else! Oh my god, I'm- <laughs> I'm speechless. I, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this car. I think, honestly, it's an absolute insane piece of art. I fucking love this thing. Can you? Oh, can you imagine just seeing one of these? You'd you'd fangirl so hard. You'd just you'd die inside in a good way. All right, I'm gonna stop before I have to explain myself. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more drag on the channel. Let me know if you want to see more wheel stuffs. Um, thank you again to Thrustmaster sending me the new wheel head and also uh, the, to Wheelstand Pro for sending me the add-on for the wheel stand to allow me to separate the shifter and make it not hit my desk. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.